Oh, what's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. And in this episode, uh, we are launching the first of a number of offensive moves in northern Italy against the, well, eventually the combined forces of Austria and Venice. But for now, it's this small uh, Venetian force that's advanced into our territory. So, Rodolfo Genovese, get ready to be six foot under. Uh, but yeah, we, we really want to keep to pile the uh, the pressure on because I think we're in a really good spot in the, in our European offensive and we're in a really good spot in our Indian offensive to do some real damage pretty quickly and pretty decisively, really. Um, so, yeah, every end turn phase we want to be capturing enemy cities and building more troops for the final offensive. We don't really want to be wasting any time right now. We've got <laughs> right now we've we've done the economy uh build up side now it's just the total war side so my foot artillery battery is going to be focusing just on their um their lone artillery battery facing off against us our howitzers will be targeted uh, against their infantry but we're just going to deploy our uh, our own infantry line first Let's give my skirmish as most of the backup. Let's get my hussars and my general over on the left flank. We do want to start picking off um, some of these enemy units. Okay, so. Let's shift our. But let's wait for a minute. The gorillas are going to pick off the enemy cursier. They're advancing at high speed. They've bumped into our line. There you go. They've been sent back. Our infantry line. Let's take a detachment. Advancing up to the left. One detachment can advance straight towards the enemy, even if they can't necessarily directly fire onto their infantry right now. They will be in a really good position uh, to start start hosing that um, gun position up top. Actually, let's get our howitzers doing attack ground ops here. Our gunners you may just halt, drop into squares. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need my cavalry over here really. Push my Curacy Air forward to engage the enemy how it's the enemy um SARS. The Curacy Air units bumped into my line infantry been obliterated by concentrated musketry. The pikes are retreating. Okay, let's get my line formed up. Enemy fusiliers. Come on, sounds. I mean, you men are going to be pretty much out of the action, so you effectively are going to get orders to just run all the way around the flank. Uh, to run my cavalry away from the enemy engineers, get my foot artillery to focus on them. My howitzers can keep doing what they're doing. My infantry line on the right can stay where they are actually they're engaging the enemy engineers grenadiers have been hit enemy fusiliers are getting pummeled by my musketry swiss grenadiers are broken oh sneezing coming there we go problem solved fusiliers are broken grenadiers are out of here the engineers are engaging us in one long thin line Okay, my general and my hussars, bring them over here. 
you are not. Whoa, no, you guys. Really badly positioned, but you're not going to advance up ahead of my line. No, sir. So, Cressier engaged the Swiss line formation. Put artillery focus on the Swiss pikes. Quick line. Just focus on bombarding these enemy units that are still scampering around. They want my cavalry, by the looks of it. When you men crash into the Swiss line. Excellent. Swiss Pike still advancing. Probably trying to go towards my other um, cavalry units, which are just going to run past them. <laughs> this expat infantry, the line infantry. It's taken a very long time to get over here. Okay, let's reorganize my line. I don't mind if they run around. The problem doesn't look like they want to charge me. Human format. Sars, get over here. General's bodyguard, you're going to position ready to deal with these Swiss pikes because they're currently eager. They're going to chew my gorillas up if they stay in combat. Hoping my marines. There we go, they've reloaded, and although they apparently. Uh, go. So they're firing volleys into them. The skirmish is keeping up a constant withering fire. There we go. They're broken. So my general can be responsible for dispatching them. Excellent. Curiosier. Finish off the last of these Swiss line infantry units. Oh, my infantry have set off some of the Mines in front of the stakes. Okay, you take that into account. Although I might use round shot actually rather than quick lime. To go for the engineers, they are the more elite unit. My Cressier steamboat into these fusiliers. They're not very um, adept in melee combat. Excellent shooters, not so good in combat. And against heavy cavalry, that's really not good for them. Excellent. They should focus on the line infantry because they are uh, complete. Howitzers engage the general's bodyguard, although he's going to be sniped at. By my skirmishes. There you go. He's going to live to tell the tale. Okay, there we go. Now we're cooking. Excellent. Now I've got you go off that Swiss line. Try to see if you can get those engineers. No, they're a bit too far away, really. Go for the Swiss Grenadiers. They're, they're a good get. All my artillery sees fire. General's bodyguard. Swiss plagues are all spread out. You kill that last Grenadier. Awesome. Swiss line here are all spread out, so they're going to take some time. So, group all my cavalry together. 
There's a bunch over there. But let's just see how they get on. Maybe bring my... Oh, well, yeah. Let's bring a gem, my general over here. Although they are going to escape. More intelligent uh, use of cavalry could have probably killed them. But they're going to be effectively done for. They're down to eight men. That's still a pretty desirable outcome for us. Awesome. 10 to 1 ratio. 291 kills to my QSCR. Yeah, some experience. Chevron's bumped up across the board. Mm, come on. <laughs> there we go. So, Mr. Monino. So, Milan. They can handle us not being here. That's pretty awesome. Right, I think the next step is to take this force, advance them as close to the line as we dare, and bring Emigdio Galas in to strike at Clemens Muller. Hopefully from this direction. With our troops in reserve, attack this general. We definitely want to try to kill him. Um, some enemy reinforcement units coming in. But importantly, the garrison of Venice wants to try help out as well. But it'll also clear up a lot of enemy units in this area. Uh, yeah, let's get cracking. My household cavalry are going to want to try and snipe that general's bodyguard. We are going to definitely want to try and take them out. They're a very good general. Then with this, we can secure a southern offensive position uh, against Württemberg and then also push east against Venice and have a really good front line to advance towards Austria, uh, Vienna because we're already attacking Austria. <laughs> but yeah, right now, we uh, if we can defeat these armies, we're in a really good position for our march on Venice. Um, but as a result, we are going to want to play somewhat on the defensive. Let's probably try mix my elites up. Kind of screwed that up. But that's okay. Just form a standard line. Keep my regulars back as a bit of a reserve. Split the cavalry up. How it says get ready. Actually, I just deploy one on each one on each wing. And then we'll reorientate our formation, well, our positioning, depending on where the enemy reinforcements come in. Some are coming in directly to our left. Let's deal with the enemy cavalry with our quick climb prince with our quick climbing um, units principally. Okay, let's see if okay, everything's still. Get my artillery to start bombarding their units on the field. Bring up my household cavalry, because this provincial cavalry wants to have a go. I 66 cavalry. Let's see if they can be broken from musketry. them. Oh, that's the combined enemy reinforcements coming in over here as well. Interesting. Okay, let's reorientate our line. Just a smidge. Push my cavalry forward to attack the skirmishes. Get ready to respond yeah they're all theirs I don't know why I should I should oh, I, I, I know but obviously I don't know why I call them off I definitely do know why I call them off there's enemy counterattack although it looks like they aren't interested in my yes they are interested in my cavalry but the provincial cavalry and 
warband, but they're not scary in of themselves. Push up my right flank. Yeah, my, my guns are trying to engage their line. There's a bit of a defilade here on the left. The lances are... I mean, they've taken too long to decide what they wanted to do. Keep one unit engaging the Curiosier. Get another unit start engaging some units of the militia. This, the core of the Austrian front line is going to start engaging us soon. Okay, let's withdraw. The cavalry are tired, so let's bring them back. We've got the cover of our musket armed troops to help us out, although let's make sure they don't kill our skirmishers. Oh, enemy crossier. Okay, right. Marines. Form square. Run my skirmishers through, run my cavalry through. Drag their, the enemy cavalry into my marine square. Run my skirmishes away. Commit my my household cavalry into the Cressier. Now they've hit the square. Get my the unit of howitzers in trying to engage that Swiss pike unit. Okay, these guerrillas are almost in position. Start engaging. Cursier is shattered. You men get into line. Skirmishes advance. Cursier push out wide. Okay, this is all looking reasonably secure. You aim at the fusiliers. So the, the generals are chilling out together at the back. We're not worried about the six pounder horse artillery. I particularly want my howitzers to engage, the howitzers on the left to engage those troops, the howitzers on the right hit some of these reinforcements. The enemy is withdrawing in good order, so we will advance in good order. Okay, they're balanced, they're, so they're adapting, adapting to our plans, so let's make sure we run there you go line infantry guards are in a great position start engaging the enemy or well, once they've reloaded that is enemy cavalry unit right at the back the general's bodyguard but not their actual general okay let's commit my regiment of horse into the action start trying to find or look for openings against the enemy the main <laughs> the main threatening general let's create a bit of a wedge shaped formation here as well wait until they finished firing their volleys before you give them the order one more volley no, doesn't matter you men can advance on that flank Ooh, Lance of Guards, be wary of them. No regiment of horse though, target the enemy Venetian general's bodyguard. So the main enemy force is getting annihilated by our superior musketry. Push the line up. Hey, we killed two enemy generals. 
Mr. Genovese, we've already fought him before. Okay, so we killed this general and the horse artillery was also... Oh, it was, it was the commanding unit for one of the armies. Let's make it shatter and then we'll run this unit to go get the enemy rocket battery. Artillery. Focus on the first horse guards, heavy cavalry. They're barreling straight into our formation. Enemy commander, the main enemy commander has lost some troops from our skirmisher fire. Let's straighten this line up. Get my skirmishers up. This howitzer aim at that unit of Swiss line. This unit aim at just pick the second regiment of militia. So the enemy heavy cavalry haven't lost a single man yet. I presume my artillery weren't shooting at the targets I wanted them to shoot at. Instead, aim at the Lancer guards. Force them to commit. Form squares. They've broken off their attack. Kill the rest of the rocket troop. They get bumped into our squares. They've been held. Now they're going to get picked off by probably the 10th foot guards unless we swivel these units to fire across the front of the square so Matsuri is now pounding the slanted guard unit okay let's bring my regiment of horse into bear try to hunt that general's bodyguard there you go the heavy cavalry is now getting picked off by my other infantry will be soon. Volley from the line infantry guards got them. Soon the line infantry guard, oh this this regiment of line infantry will start picking them off. Okay the army of the field, the enemy f units in the field uh, have been destroyed. So let's break these three units off to advance in this direction. push these two units up against the unit of militia. All my how oh, it says I switched to round shot but still not enough to engage the first lancers. Swing in and hit that unit of marines. Let's grab this line of unit and start advancing toward the enemy. The new enemy, enemy position. You chaps. Kill those marines. My heavy cavalry are tired. Howitzers. Engage the unit of Jaeger. Run my medium cavalry around that cavalry combatant unit. Get my heavy cavalry to attack the marines. Kill the last of those marines. Kill those lances. New men charging as well. Cease fire the artillery. Actually, how it's just keep hitting. Oh, the Aegis are gone. Okay, 
Let's push this line up. So this unit of Hussars has intercepted our desire to kill that enemy general unit. Advance up my heavy cavalry. The Jaeger have returned. Push right up into them so they don't use their range as, as a decisive factor. Although my guerrillas can engage from their current position. Hussars are going down. General's bodyguard is involved with what's going on. Let's get my heavy cavalry up here. Well, the heavy cavalry may, may make a beeline for the general. Although they are exhausted, my cavalry will be that way soon as well. Let's get my infantry to drop one unit into squares, just to see if they take the bait. Enemy generals committed. Well, that Austrian general. Send in the marines. Well, you're going to have to form square because they want to try to stop you from doing that. Even engage that unit of light horse. Well, attempt to. You catch that general, make sure you get him. somewhere in the melee got him Clemens Müller your days your days are done my friend now we've got one last unit of howitzers to chew up excellent another unit of howitzers to chew up yeah go on let's clear them out over here. An interesting unit of line infantry. Yeah, let's play this and um, let's play this a bit sped up though. Because ultimately this unit's in a very dodgy spot. They're not gunned. Outnumbered, although you guys redress. They needed more of them. Let's bring them all up. You're in a bit of a defilade, my marines. Let's dispatch my regiment of horse in to chase down that. Uh, they killed. They they formed up. Let's play this a bit sped. <laughs> you know what? Actually, You mean get up here? This might be the actual Venetian garrison up here. In which case, yeah, but let's reinforce the front. So that's Swiss Grenadiers. Although, let's bring my cavalry in. Got, got to get some stuff done with them. Although, there, my Marines are engaging the first foot guards. A reasonable objective. fellows let's 
charge into the back of the first foot guards. You can get my regulars to start engaging the next gen next um, grenadier unit. You men have formed square to prevent yourself being overwhelmed by cavalry, which is good. Although you can't actually shoot them from there. This is a bad idea. Let's do it. We're going to advance into range. You're going to count on the marines to provide the firepower you need, whereas you men provide the devastatingly accurate fire we need. Excellent. There goes the second. Okay, one of you go after the garrison guards, the other go after the line infantry. Let's, now let's play it on um, time compression. The, there you go, the grenadiers. Come on, keep killing them, keep chopping them up. They're in their um, position. The position they reinforced from is really screwed up. So that's why the battle's not over. It's because they haven't actually finished entering the field yet. So here they come. They walk they're all the way around the mountain into this little trough. And my man is just going to stand up here, reload, wave them to enter the field, shoot the bejesus out of them. <laughs> They're already wavering. If they break, they'll immediately leave. And yep, there they go. Here comes the next unit. It's a unit of marines up here as well. Not that we really need more firepower, but... Make sure you're all fire at will off. There you go, brave Swiss Grenadier unit. Yeah, this is the Venice garrison coming in. Well, your position down here is really not good. Yeah, they're gone. of Swiss line infantry. I mean, that's better, but still not great. I think really, the, the horizon is about here. So you have to be in a weird angle, be off at a strange angle. So there might be an element of crossfire here, but that yeah, will be fine. There we go. My gorillas are off at an angle, so they can fire just across their front. 204. 148, 146. Yeah. Four Grenadier guards coming in now. So they, could, if they charge, they could do a lot of damage, but they're probably just going to sit there and fire at us. I hope. They're already wavering. They haven't even fired upon. Then my game just falling over trying to play the animation. That looks like it. I wouldn't necess necessarily describe it as a close victory. It was a good victory. Yeah, a good ratio. 726 to 4,155. And that superior general bested by Mr. Gallus. Dead, dead. Pulled back, pulled back. Go on. Garrison's gone as well. It's 
So this army has the strength to put Venice under siege. They will do so. They will not necessarily attack the city, but they will put it under siege. This army, you men dispatch troops to kill Mr. Hadik. Oh, sad. Sad to get some more attrition in. Um, yeah, so you're down. That was quite a big drop in public order. Okay, you're recruiting troops. Maybe don't recruit militia. Let's recruit line infantry because you can fold them into units that are already that are already recruiting stuff. Do any of you guys have a policing bonus? No, nope. you're going to do the same. Just recruit some more infantry because you men at least can. I suppose you men might pull back. The line infantry can advance. You're barreling towards Venice. You're trying to stabilise Italy, which we may be able to do now. Like minus 32, he's got a university, but once we get rid of that, that'll really help. I'm upgrading the coaching in Bologna, but I don't think it's going to help. If we exempt them from tax, clamour for reform will almost, almost entirely deal with it. Um, but this is all quite solid. We don't need to do upgrade any fortifications. So Austria has a massive fleet back here. But that's good, because all of those ships cost money. So I'm happy for them to have all these ships bottled up. Venice is war-weary. And they're not currently taxing Vienna, actually. Let's see if we can sabotage the museum. Um, first time out and he gets gets killed. Okay, lots of my troops in Europe. Lots of my armies are just replenishing. There's not a lot else they can do. We can repair this. Okay, everyone's recruiting like mad. Paris, you need seven units, which you are recruiting. London's not recruiting anybody. Probably a mistake. Let's recruit a general. Santos Fernandez. Excellent. Cursier. I don't really. No, oh, let's get Lancer Guards. Why not? Lancer Guards, Carabiner. Heavy Horse Guard Artillery Unit. Two 24 pounders. have to get some 24 pounder howitzers and skirmishers get a unit of Cazador you must be able to get a unit of there we go, sharpshooters great that's you mostly taken care of Paris, you're recruiting an army Madrid recruiting an army Lisbon, you're recruiting an army Angia you're also recruiting an army excellent Everybody's recruiting. Uh, we've got Cagliari under siege. We don't really have to do much more than that. Just I'm happy just to keep them see besieged. At least until we replenish. At some point we need to go after the French. But they are effectively going to be incredibly depleted. But I think this is most of Europe dealt with. You need two units. Currently recruiting one. Could probably do with grabbing an infantry unit, I suppose. Then you're ready. Because you can deploy Königsberg. You could, in theory, go after Warsaw. Because you're enough to hold Königsberg against this one rifleman scouts unit. We will recruit another batch of infantry. You men strike south. Potentially tank Warsaw. Because right now, if they're not taxing Vienna, most of their income is going to come from 
Berlin, surely. Because Prague's got some issues. There's been some raiding. Is Austria at war with just us? Yeah, you know what? Let's try and knock out Warsaw. Let's take out this garrison force. Mr. Richthofen, Captain Richthofen. So if we can hold... Oh yeah, Konigsberg and Warsaw, and, uh, Warsaw they'll, they will be a really nice uh, barrier to prevent Russia from entering the field. At least until we want them to. Or we force them into it. Because <laughs> that's the other way of going about it. You know, we're creating a, a barrier just to prevent Russia from thinking, you know what, we can have a pop here. Heavy horse artillery, almost foot artillery, is going to be targeting their mortars to the best of their ability. Actually, so are all my howitzers. Because this is a tremendous artillery army we've got here. Got my grenadiers and my guard infantry on the right. Excellent. So my howitzers. Uh, no, they're going to drop quick climb shells right here. I'm just going to watch this happen a minute. Shells away. <laughs> oh, God alive. Okay. Cost me the lives of some of my infantry. But that is a worthwhile trade. Okay. Howitzers. Retarget. I'm not quite sure why I'm getting so many sound issues today. And sometimes it kind of feels like just spamming it on and off kind of helps, but... Blunderbuss shotgunners are advancing. Maybe lancers are involved. Light cavalry sharpshooters are going to get a volley off. Okay, let's keep my light cavalry sharpshooters ahead of my cuirassier, who are going to advance at the left. Centre of their infantry position is going to hit our lines. We can advance slowly. garrison have lost all of their guns um, but that doesn't stop them from acting as more for troops where's the other unit there we go focus fire on them we've got grenadier guard protect the flank of their cavalry admirable but Run my cavalry around the flank, try to find a gap to exploit. The Lancers have found my heavy cavalry. Sharpshooters cease fire. Get to the top of the high ground. And fire at will at the Lancers. Late. This is going to be a bit dicey. They're going to route. My guys are going to route. Okay, even so, we've got our gap. Of 
Although our artillery seems to be doing a reasonable job of it. Okay, who are you? Let's advance into their faces. Just don't blink at range. Take the fight to the enemy. Is great. Excellent. To be honest, you men can just sit back here firing at will, because if the enemy keeps falling back, they're going to lose ground fast. Let's push up past the enemy line of stakes. Advancing up to the high ground, let's retarget my howitzers to take into account an enemy unit of Grenadier Guards. The Provincial Line are engaging my cavalry, who will return fire organically. Don't even kill these damn lancers. Run this cavalry back to our lines. See, I am risky. I'm shooting cavalry, uh, shooting artillery towards my line. Good hit. It's being hit from all directions. Excellent. Push forward. Get everyone to engage that infantry unit. Looks like that uh, it's not going to be the only infantry unit. The garrison militia have advanced back into our. towards our line. Field artillery. Engage this last bastion of enemy troops. Clem's blown a hole in them immediately. Looks like it's the terrain, it's not great. Still getting a couple of hits. Excellent. Lots of bouncing round shot. Grenadier guards are broken. Excellent. Looks like that. Ooh, no, not yet. Push up into the militia. Oh, they're wavering. Bless them. I was going to say, a lot of artillery fires coming your way, Buster. At least their officer survived. Nice. So that's a really good win. Warsaw is, oh, yeah, they're suffering now. So Konigsberg, because they've got fortifications, they can defend themselves for a little bit without a lot of help. Um, Gdansk is also ripe for the taking. There's not a huge amount of Austrian troops close to us. Uh, Lviv is the largest garrison. Immediately, we're going to want to uh, replenish our troops get the fortifications built it's so much easier defending at least first level fortifications don't worry about trying to keep everyone happy nearby let's try to get rid of the university in Krakow I think that's the only university you have to worry about awesome Okay, yeah, obviously they still have, they do have Vilnius, so you might have to push forward and take that. But I think Vilnius might be towards the back end of our priorities list. If we can just, if we can just kind of capture this chunk of Europe, we're going to be on to a real winner here. 
Yeah. So now keep keep um, sieging um, Cologne, especially while we replenish. We've got a lot of replenishing to do in Europe. Um, in India. Oops. So you guys. Just advance forward. You haven't got to attack anyone yet. You've got a lot of replenishing to do. You're, pro you're probably going to want to push up towards Hyderabad. Let's make sure Hyderabad's just churning out lots of troops. Great. Okay. Keep you guys nearby. Power is really upset. Okay, let's try. Get my agents up here. Let's try help. You've got the siege, the city, the siege of Mysore well under control. You can actually take over the siege of Mysore. And you can advance up and engage. That might just be an auto resolve to be honest. That's the leftovers of another army. Push up to the border. You men replenish. You may as well just knock out the remnants of that army. Great, we can actually get some of these things rebuilt now. For the most part, though, everyone's done what they can do. You're going to raid the farming estates. We're going to get some of these buildings rebuilt. Upgrade our infrastructure. But we've got three armies pushing on towards Akbarabad. So there's a large concentration around Nagpur. Uh, it looks like there's a good chunk of them heading towards Hyderabad. That'd be quite fun. Holding a Madnagar. Actually, have any of the Indian cities displaced our most valuable region yet? England up top. Paris, Lisbon, Bogota, Charleston, Morocco. Turin, New Orleans, Arcot. Karnataka is our most uh, valuable region, but we weren't actually taxing it because we were trying to keep them happy, but now we can tax them. Turin is very unhappy. So we probably don't want to lose that town. Frederico Demarado, lots of good stuff. Sebastian Manino is the. Yes, you. You've done a great job. Yeah. Soon we'll take Venice, we'll knock out um, one of Austria's most valuable partners, then we can send troops north to threaten Munich, but mostly it's trying to break through to take, take Zagreb um, and attack Vienna, who are already very unhappy. Florence is being removed, as is Krakow. Sweet. Nothing to immediately worry about. So let's let everybody carry on. Um, can you take one ship? Nope. Yeah, I think we can hold off on the recruitment of navies just for a little bit. Yeah, Austria's <laughs> running troops around now. They got big problems. I'd like to run someone over to capture Gdansk, but I don't think... I mean, we could send those five troops to do it. I just really don't want to lose Königsberg to a hidden um, Austrian army. Yeah, that's why lots of their troops are heading south. The only way they can... Yeah, we, we, we've almost entirely split up their territory. So we need to keep pushing south to cut off Vilnius from supporting the rest of their empire. Once these troops in the north are replenished, we can start to squeeze Württemberg from the north. We want to hold off on attacking Hanover for a while. Um, just until we've got some... Ideally, I want to have one army positioned to strike at Hanover, then one to blitz towards 
uh, Berlin as quickly as possible. The Navy is gathering four full stacks, but they're all fourth and fifth rates. That's a lot of troops. Oh, yes, please. They are attacking Strasbourg, and that will be a great defense because they've only got one three pounder. Um, actually, in a way, that's not great because it means they'll never make a breach. But what we want to do is make sure that the troops we've got reinforcing, first and foremost, are either infantry or um, artillery. We don't want to... The infantry or, or cavalry, we don't really want lots of um, artillery showing up in that action. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for... This is going to be quite a good uh, defence of Strasbourg. We may end up making our own breach. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. See you next time.